This deeply complex case involving the former Deputy Senate President uh, did resume today at the Central Criminal Court, also known as the Old Bailey. Uh, the Senator, alongside a third individual who was arrested uh, by Metropolitan Police a couple of weeks ago, appeared in front of a judge uh, via video link while his wife Beatrice um, appeared in the dock. You'll remember that she was granted bail under very stringent conditions last week. And now, because of the complex Complexities. It's worth uh, just updating us on how we got here. Uh, the case began on the 5th of May this year, but didn't become known to the public until the 21st of June, uh, when the senator and his wife were arrested on their way back into the United Kingdom at Heathrow Airport uh, from a trip to Turkey. And now there have been lots of twists and turns on the way. I think the most notable uh, twist is that uh, this alleged victim is not a minor. Um, he is, in fact, 21 years old. And this information came to light uh, following um, an intervention from the Nigerian federal government. Um, and another twist is that uh, this 50-year-old uh, doctor, Obina Obeta, uh, from Southwark in South London, was also arrested uh, by the Metropolitan uh, Police um, on charges for conspiracy to traffic a child for the purpose of organ harvesting. And now, as to be expected, the public gallery uh, was absolutely packed. However, I didn't see uh, the two adult children who have been in attendance at previous um, hearings. Now, there is one human rights organisation called the Civil Rights Realisation and Advancement Network um, who has said that uh, Ekwere Madu's case in the UK constituted a grave assault on the 1961 Vienna Convention on diplomatic relations as it failed to follow international standards and due procedures for trials of officials having diplomatic immunity. And now it has been revealed that whilst uh, Mr. Aquaramadu was travelling into the United Kingdom, that he was bearing a diplomatic passport, which has led many people to ask why indeed he hasn't been placed on those same bail conditions as his wife Beatrice. No bail application was made on behalf of the senator, so we're not expecting to see them to appear in court until the 31st of October, with a trial potentially set for next year. Juliana Olayinka, reporting for Channels TV News in London.